<laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's Luca. Welcome to this uh, beautiful video. I'm a bit like, uh, uh, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, it's it's been raining all day today. You live in England. What do you expect, bro? Excuse me, it hasn't been raining in like two months. I'm serious. So yeah, normally, uh, what is this? Ah, I don't know. Today I've just been watching the rain and I've been listening to sad music and that just made me think a lot. Basically, I also stumbled upon some old videos that I did on my like old YouTube channel. It was like vlogs about like my life in Australia. I was living in Australia two years ago for like a study abroad kind of thing and I was just watching these videos and I was I was looking at myself and I could kind of see myself but then it also kind of felt like it wasn't me. Ah! Yeah, so that was weird because I feel like I've changed so much. I don't know, like, I've just changed so much. But then what I also noticed, like, watching these videos was, like, how happy I was in these videos. Like, I always had a smile on my face and, I don't know, I seemed like I had no, literally no worries in the world. I was just, you know, traveling around, doing my thing, enjoying my life with my friends. First of all, that made me like super nostalgic because Australia was just, I don't know, fantastic, mind-blowing. It feels like in my memory like a year of fun and travel and uh, <laughs> lots of drinking and parties. I know that it wasn't all rainbows and unicorns. Like if I think more about it, there were some like shittier times as well and there was some stress, there were some issues. Of course, I missed my friends and family at home sometimes and yeah, it was just normal life in the end, but sometimes I like romanticize these memories a lot. However, I also feel like that this year, this like one year I spent in Australia was like one of the happiest years in my life, if not the happiest year. I guess when I went there, I was at a point in my life where I finally felt comfortable enough with myself. I was so excited. I constantly like pushed myself to go out of my comfort zone to like, you know, experience um, everything and have like the best life that I could. And I just, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like I did a lot of things right um, during that year. I made such good friends, I had like such fun travel experiences. I was like, you know, in a football team. Yeah, studying, <laughs> studying was also a thing that I sometimes did. And I don't know, I feel like all the like different areas in my life were like all, you know, working and flowing together and that was really good. I don't know, there was just this like freedom spirit in Australia. I don't know if it, if it was the weather or the people or just the place um, but I don't know there was there was something about it that made me really really happy and I'm not saying like that I'm super unhappy at the moment and my life is shit like it's totally not the case at all I have good days I have bad days all in all I don't really have much to complain about like of course like my job is very stressful but I also love it at the same time because like I don't know I feel like it's, it's a good job, it's fun, like I do it because I love it. By the way, I'm teaching English at a language school and yeah, it's a lot of fun, but I guess um, if you work this kind of job, then you don't really have any, any freedom. A job comes with lots of responsibilities and restricted freedom and yeah, I guess I really miss this. The freedom, the freedom of um, traveling and the freedom of waking up in the morning and just going with the flow and deciding what to do. Yeah, I don't I don't really know why I made this video in the end, but like, I guess I just had so many thoughts going on in my head. I thought that if I like said it out loud, it would make somehow more sense, but I guess it doesn't, or maybe it does. I don't know, you tell me. I guess the message is just like <laughs> pretty cheesy. Do what makes you happy, that's, that's it. Like nothing else matters. And that's something we all know, I'm, I'm sure about that. But still, it's something that we often for, forget or I don't know, not take seriously or kind of like push away. Ah, I don't know. I feel like I've achieved a lot of things like both in my professional and in my private life, like ever since coming back from Australia. But at the same time, I feel like all these achievements don't really mean anything if um, I'm not like happy with with myself. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's time to do something crazy again and get out there and have some like life-changing um, Experiences, I think a lot of changes are gonna be happening soon Which are like both really exciting and also really terrifying at the same time I think that's about everything that I wanted to say today Maybe leave a comment down below and tell me like what was one of the happiest times of um, your life that would be Cool. All right, it was nice hanging out with you. I'll see you hopefully next week. Bye-bye.